All right, it's time to GTFO. Yep. And I only have one ration. But I wonder, oh, whoops. Can I call me Ling? Snake, they've placed the Kano under arrest. I, I don't know what I should do. This will probably be your last save. I'm going to miss those proverbs of yours. Snake. Mei Ling, I have a favor to ask you. Make a hard copy of all the codec conversation data up to this point. I want some insurance. Okay, Snake, leave it to me. Thank you, Mei Ling. Mm -hmm. Our a, final save. You've been a great help. Complete. Snake, please, be safe for me. All right, let's roll. I'll drive. Damn, a surveillance camera. Damn it, Meryl. I'm a coming. Whoop! Mm. Oh boy. Fire that machine gun with your weapon button. Shoot him, Snake! Snake, hold on! Let's get out of here. See ya. Alright. Now I kinda low-key hate this part too. Alright, so I've gotta turn this way. Get out! Hurry! Uh-oh, Snake! Mm. Here they come! <clears throat> we'll never make it! Snake, clear a path! Mm. Okay, Snake, Easy let's peasy. Alright. It's weird because I have to press the first person view and the fire button at the same time. Really? Yeah. So it's really, really weird. We're so there's one more... Here they come! Got him. Did it, Snake? All right, time to go. Is that a Willy's Jeep you're driving? It is a Willy's Jeep. Oh yeah, here we go. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Liquid. Liquid. This is much better in first person. It's a lot easier in first person. I have my ration equipped so if he gaze me up or if he tries to cheese me then I'll heal automatically. Come on, Liquid! I got you! There you go. Ow! There you go. You got it. Oh, what? There you go. Ow! You're fine, you're fine. Ow! I'm good. There you go, there you go. Ah, we're hitting each other at the same time. Oh, we did it! Alright. Watch it. And I think we're gonna talk during this cutscene because I think this cutscene's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> so that was exciting. That's the first time I ever did that on the first try. Because mm. first person. I just figured that out like Meryl. a year ago. Oh, uh, okay? that I could do that. <laughs> yeah, just a little shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. 
I can't move. What happened to Liquid? Hmm, I wonder. I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Wait for it. Uh-oh. Snake! This man is like the Terminator! Or a cockroach, you just can't kill the bastard. Nope. It's a T-800. Wait for it. Snake! Wait. Fox. Die. Die. <laughs> Just die already, you <laughs> bastard. And I think that's the end of Liquid. For now. If he's dead, that means... Spoiler alert? Maybe. Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Ooh, go deck. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> well, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. 
A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. 
To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at a time. In January 1993, START II was signed by the United States and Russia, agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to 3,000. Oh, damn it. Yeah. However, as of 1998, there still exist 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. Mm hmm. And what is next? And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Metal Gear Solid. One of the greatest games of all time. One of my all-time favorite games that brought the series to whole new lights. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here. I know I certainly did, even <laughs> though it was a bit of a pain trying to get used to the classic PlayStation controller. But I had a lot of fun doing this oh, Let's Play, yes. or during this playthrough. David, what did you think, as usual? I mean, when I first uh, heard about this game, I was like, uh, what? Like, what kind of game, like, was this? But then when I saw you play it uh, for the first time in many years, I was completely blown away by it. I'm like, I know. How, how did this game exist you know during your time when when i was also like i mean born. it really was the very first game in terms of being like a playable movie you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah i mean it was it was just so much attention to detail mm -hmm. in this game for the time particularly in the area of voice acting because mm -hmm. before this this game as far as i can tell voice acting was like Bare, bare, super minimum. Oh, yeah. Because everybody knows, like, the classic voice acting of, like, Resident Evil, mm -hmm. like the OG Resident Evil. You were almost a chill sandwich. But this is, like, the first game that I can remember playing that had awesome voice acting. And what about the music? I mean, this, oh, music, the mu the mu this music is amazing. The music... The voice acting, yeah. the level design, the so, the many different ways that you can approach a situation and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Cause the way that I played this game is one way to play this game. You can go through this entire game without killing anybody. Yeah. You, um, aside from the boss fights, I yeah. think. And yeah. And as you guys saw throughout this playthrough, I found new ways to play this game as I was going through. I. I used to do, like, during the, the last Sniper Wolf uh, boss fight, I had to say, hey, why can't you just use your Nikita missile? Just find cover and just use your Nikita missile. It's true. And, and it worked. Yeah, and I think I forgot to implement this strategy in my Metal Gear Rex fights, but you can use your ch chaff grenades to confuse his sensors during the first part of the fight, but I didn't really need to because I could do my strategy. Yeah. But the second time around, you gotta be a little bit quicker on that because you have to target liquid yeah. instead. And yes, um, the liquid hand-to-hand -hand boss fight was my least favorite, no, currently to this day, is my least favorite boss fight in the entire Metal Gear series. Yeah. Because it's so stupid. But they completely made up for it in Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, they did. And you guys will find that out soon, maybe, maybe. soon. But yes, like, I love in terms of like the flexibility of the gameplay, 
the different approaches, all the little like nooks and crannies. Like <laughs> this was this was Hideo Kojima's coming out party. Coming out party. Because before this, this was his, this was the start of his legacy. Yeah, because before this, all he worked on were the uh, the Ducktales mm -hmm. games, Duck Hunt, and stuff like that. But yeah, this game made Hideo Kojima's career. And for those of you who continue to follow his career after this game, you would know that he shot for the moon and almost always hit it. Always. Every single time. Every single Metal Gear game that he has made has been a hit. You could argue that Metal Gear Solid 5 was yeah, yeah. but for the most part, every single Metal Gear game yeah. has been fantastic. Now, there is a remake of this game, Metal Gear Twin Snakes. Yeah. I've never played that game before, mm -hmm. but it plays very similar to Metal Gear Solid 2. Mm -hmm. So maybe I might uh, maybe. take a look at that later on down the road. It is on the PlayStation Network, uh, I think. Okay. So I might decide to revisit that game later on down the road. Okay. But uh, yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We had a lot of fun doing this. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, even though I forgot how, how certain things David reminded me, yeah. oh, aren't you forgetting about this? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So, yeah, th this is just a really fun experience yeah. to do that. And I cannot wait to play Metal Gear Solid 2, number three, which is arguably my yeah. favorite. I think everybody's favorite. Yeah. If... And you will see why. If you do not like Metal Gear Wait Solid minute, 3, Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima, we salute you. Yes, we do. But yes, um, in terms of uh, the net, oh, are are Ooh. we? Wait a minute. Are we are, are we gonna get a a Marvel Cinematic Universe type I think of thing? This maybe, theme, maybe, I think maybe, maybe. Hold on. Oh, hold, hold on. You hold mustn't on a allow yourself oh. to oh. change your fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Mm -hmm. The important mm -hmm. thing is that you choose life. Yeah. And yeah. then live. Choose life, people. Kind of like right now. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. indeed, indeed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shh, shh. Is there more? Is there more? Yes, sir. The entire oh. unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. What? The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon, right on schedule. Yes, sir, I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir, my cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. What? Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. Huh? That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh boy. Ocelot was working for the president the whole time. My score. Uh, easy completed in seven hours. I forgot how... If you know what you're doing, you can complete this game in a very quick yep. uh, time frame. 30 saves... 12 continues. Yep. Uh, being found 12 times. I killed 104 enemies. Yep. 48 rations used. Code name Puma. Special item Banana. <laughs> which is literally just a banana peel you can throw on the floor and enemies will slip on it, knocking themselves out. Okay. But Puma. Okay. Uh, complete. Yes. Yes. Save. And uh, for those of you paying attention during the cutscene, the little bandana that uh, Meryl got was the uh, infinite ammo bandana. Mm -hmm. That's the first. No, actually, that's one of I, two endings. One of two endings. Doc complete. 
And let's go back to the main menu really quickly. Mm -hmm. Start button. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the Brotherhood, thank you once again for joining us. This was a lot of fun, as we said before. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, next projects, we do have a couple things in the pipeline. Yep. Uh, one that we will do immediately after this, along with a big one. Yes. That's coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are continuing our, um, our top 10 WrestleMania matches. Yes. So maybe by the time um, you reach the ending of this video, we'll probably be done. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we also not. have some pay-per-views coming up. Yep. There's an AEW uh, pay-per-view coming up in May. Okay. There's also an NXT TakeOver coming up in June. Oh, okay. NXT so TakeOver in your house, which is a old school play on an old school uh, pay-per-view from back in the day. So I'm well, looking. You're gonna be educating me on that. Oh yeah. So a lot of content coming down the the pipeline. May and June, and of course the big one. The big one. The big one. So in any case, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us. If you enjoyed your time here, please hit the like button, subscribe, share what you saw. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram. Links are in the description below. Please do, and stay safe and well, people. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we are out of here.